I'm Dr Priya Alexander. I'm a GP practicing in Melbourne. I see lots of different things in the consulting room and I'm also a mum of two. I think we often talk about looking after the body and we often talk about looking after physical health, but really mental health and physical health are really linked. And so, you know, looking after the brain is actually really important all on its own, but it's actually also looking after the body. I love that as a GP in the consulting room, I can actually work on prevention and prescribe little lifestyle interventions, little things that people can implement every day that can make a really big difference. So things like, you know, I'm prescribing constantly as a GP, things like eating lots of rainbows and whole grains or fruit and veggies, being physically active, getting enough sleep, reducing caffeine intake for adults, reducing screen time in that hour before bed, all of those things, yes, impact the body, can reduce your chronic disease risk, but goodness me, they also impact the brain. So all of this stuff is is really linked and I think we don't focus enough on that prevention aspect. I think for kids, being able to identify emotions, being able to know that emotions are normal, knowing what they can do when they have things like a worried tummy or they feel overwhelmed when they've got sleep issues, that it's normal, but what could I do about it? I think we could potentially see a reduction in mental health conditions. I think we would see more resilient children I think we would see kids who are able to better identify when they might need help earlier before things kind of get to rock bottom or deteriorate. I think we would see a significant impact on mental illness both in childhood and adolescence but also in adulthood. I think it would be a really big shift. I think there are a lot of resources that Smiling Mind have both within the app and the hub that People in consulting rooms, be it GPs, psychologists, maternal child health nurses, whoever it is, I think there are lots of things there that are possibly underutilised. So I'm excited about getting the word out there and going, guess what? These are things you can give your patients that can make a real difference, that are often really accessible and free.